Hello, I'm Father John Mary Foster of the Mission of Divine Mercy. Let us begin by the sign of the Holy Cross. From our enemies deliver us, O Lord our God, in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The message we are releasing today is called For My Consecrated Children. It was dictated to Sister Amapola by God the Father in Spanish on May 6, 2024. This is her translation that she did herself into English, and she has also added certain clarifying footnotes of her own, which can be viewed by reading the written text. And so this message is first of all for members of consecrated life, sisters and brothers, monks, nuns, um, and it's first of all for speaking to those who haven't been faithful. And then later on, it speaks to those who have been faithful, whether they are part of a formal consecrated life or who are not part of a formal consecrated life but are living truly the Spirit. To all my children, souls who are consecrated to me, I now speak to you, sons and daughters, who have dedicated your lives to my service and as offerings of love to repair the damage done by the sins and disobediences of my children to be living reminders of my presence and of the destiny that I have prepared for all my children, to be united to me for all eternity. A great vocation, children, a great call, a great blessing, a great sacrifice, and a great responsibility. Throughout history, I have called many souls to a life surrendered entirely to me, souls who have given me all of their love, trust, obedience and docility, I have united to my work of salvation of my children through all the different material and spiritual works for the good of my children. These souls, in cooperation with my priest sons, help all my children to know me, love me, and return to me. A great vocation, children, to be such close collaborators with your God. And how many graces I have poured out over my consecrated children to be distributed to all my children. But what has happened to so many of you? You have forgotten me. You have forgotten that it is to me to whom you should give your complete love. Not to work, not to creatures, and much less to yourselves. How many of you have separated from me? reasoning upon reasoning, complicating yourselves more and more, always unsatisfied because, having set me aside, you search and search for a purpose for your lives, but you only succeed in separating yourselves further from me. You children, more than anyone else, should contemplate my love and my truth in all its simplicity and grace, giving your brothers the example of how to live on earth with your gaze fixed on heaven. How many injustices you have seen, I know. How many profound needs of my children, I know. How much you are moved by the atrocious suffering of so many of my children in the face of the apparent indifference of all of heaven and earth, and how much you wish to give some relief, I know, children. And I bless and multiply each sincere desire of your heart, each prayer, each effort to help your brothers. But children, how many of you have forgotten that I am far above all human powers, that life in this world is an instant in comparison to the eternal life for which I have formed you, created you, and that as long as the world lasts in its present state, there will always be poverty, suffering, and justice. Children, I remind you of what so many of you have forgotten. The purpose of your lives, of your vocation, and of each grace that I grant to you, each light I give you, is to help my children to return to my heart. So that raising their gaze to me, following your example, they walk with trust and generosity along the path that my Jesus walked, and along which you must also walk, helping, encouraging, 
correcting, guiding my children who are wounded in their souls and suffering in their bodies, so that all of you arrive back to my heart, to the union of love that will last for all eternity. But you have sold your birthright for a poor bowl of lentils. And how many you have left destitute of the helps that they would have received through you. Do not waste your time and mind in human affairs that produce no fruit because they have become separated from me. Children, return to the truth and the simplicity of the gospel. I do not mean, children, the human simplicity of a badly understood poverty. I mean, children, the simplicity of my truth, the divine essence of everything that my Jesus did in his earthly life. Imitate him in everything, but above all in his complete surrender to me and his complete obedience to me. He did nothing except what I asked of him, always. Do the same if you truly wish to be my cooperators, if you truly wish me to call you consecrated to me. Otherwise, children, it is a mockery of me. More than ever, children, set aside your own human way of thinking, your reasonings that only confuse you and separate you from me. If you separate from me, from my will, from my truth, from my heart, if you no longer recognize me as your Father and your God, you will wilt. And instead of being like the grain of wheat that dying falls into fertile soil and produces fruit, you will fall into the fetid sludge of uselessness without producing fruit nor leavening. Remember what you have been called to. Remember that you are mine, that you have, been, that you have given yourselves to me to fulfill my will, not yours, nor that of the world. Return to me while you still have time. Not much is left, and the trumpet will sound. Leave the world behind. What does this mean? It means that you separate your willing, your thinking, your doing from how the world wills, thinks, and does. For the world, under the dominion of Satan, does not think or will as I do. To separate from the world means to receive my truth, my gospel in the center of your being, and to set aside your thinking. Children, in order to receive the truth and all the gifts that proceed from my Most Holy Spirit, it is not necessary to have studies, great reasonings, nor the understanding of my mysteries. The only thing that is necessary in order to receive my truth and all the light that is contained in it is faith. The true faith of children who receive everything from their Father. And this is what you have forgotten and set aside. And this is what your vocation consists of, the essence of your vocation, to live this faith and to transmit it. And of this I will ask you for an account. In an instant, I can give you all the necessary intellectual lights. I can heal, bring back from the dead. In an instant, I can do all. I, your God, but I require your faith. Return to me. Believe in me. Love me. I am not present in vain theologies. I am not present in useless synods because they have cast me out of them. I am not in the churches and convents that are empty of my presence because they have set me aside, putting thousands of idols in my place. I am not present in the distortion of my commandments that I gave you and that still stand radiant as when I gave them and full of vigor as when my Jesus ratified them. I ratify them once again. My commandments still stand. 
I have given them so that the world and each soul learn what I ask in order that you live as my children and not as slaves. I have given them to enlighten the world, not for the world to enlighten them. Do not be confused. My commandments are eternal, and you, souls consecrated to me, should carry them on your forehead, in each thought, in your heart, in your hands, as a guide for all your actions, before your eyes, that you may never lose sight of my truth. They are not passing or changeable, written by my finger, ratified with the blood of my Jesus, and very soon once again illuminated in the hearts of my children by my Most Holy Spirit. In a special way, you, consecrated souls, are called to be bearers and examples of the light and grace of my commandments. This is why I have said to you, return to the simplicity of my truth and of the gospel that is nothing other than my Jesus showing you my heart. But you, my little ones, who have kept my truth in your heart, who have understood my fatherly heart, and have listened to my calling, and have responded, how much joy you give me, and how much rest. I rest in your hearts, children. I gather your prayers, your sacrifices, and each vigil and effort in helping me and helping my children, so wounded and so lost. Thank you, my children. Soon you will understand the fullness of this thank you. Never have consecrated souls been as needed as in this time, children. And I call and call my children. My call has not ceased, but the ears and hearts of so many of my children are closed to my voice, as are so many convents and monasteries that have closed their doors to me. But I have an army of consecrated souls, hidden souls, souls that without being part of a formal community are still part of my consecrated army, who live, suffer, and await my coming. Children, do not despair. I know who you are. I see your hearts, and I receive your offerings. In the same way that my church will crumble down completely in order to be rebuilt, so will convents and monasteries crumble down in their current state in order to be rebuilt in the fullness of truth. Children, do not be afraid. Look at me. I call, I form, I unite to my work. I receive your offerings. Trust in me. Continue your path of union with me by means of faith, trust, and your abandonment to me, your Abba. Take refuge in the essence of your consecrated life. I, your Father. I bless you, most beloved children of my heart. Pray for your consecrated brothers so that the flame of true faith may be kindled in them once again and they become luminaries in the present darkness. I have given my Jesus to you. Receive him in fullness, children. If you do not know him, how do you expect my children to know him? And knowing him, receive him. And receiving him, be saved. Love my Jesus, and let him show you the way to me. We have given you a mother. Receive her and love her, for she is the faithful mirror of our mystery. I am coming soon, children. Be attentive to my voice. Become deaf and blind to the world. Look at and listen only to me. Remember what I have done on behalf of my people. Await with certainty what I have promised that I will do for my children. I am coming. Your Father who loves you and who, and who reminds you that only I am. 
there is no other. Amen.